Have you been trying to lose weight without success? Skipping meals, counting calories, and pushing through grueling workouts only to see the numbers on the scale barely budge? What if I told you the reason has nothing to do with willpower? What if the real secret to weight loss isn't about eating less, but about understanding a single hormone that controls everything? Welcome to Senior Health. In this video, we're going to reveal the shocking truth about what really drives fat storage, and it all comes down to insulin. You'll learn why insulin, not calories, is the real switch for fat storage, the morning hormone effect that sabotages weight loss, and Dr. Ben Bickman's simple insulin trick to flip your body into fat-burning mode starting tomorrow. The most powerful evidence for insulin's role comes from the laboratory. Dr. Ben Bickman, a renowned metabolic researcher from Brigham Young University, studies this very topic. In his lab, he and his students grow fat cells in petri dishes, bathing them in a culture medium that's packed with calories, everything the cells could ever want. Yet these cells remain tiny. They don't get big until one critical element is introduced. Insulin. The moment insulin is added, the fat cells start to grow, accumulating large lipid droplets in a matter of hours. This research proves that a fat cell cannot grow unless insulin is elevated. You can provide a fat cell with all the calories in the world, but without the right hormonal signal, it simply won't expand. Insulin is that signal. This finding fundamentally changes our understanding of fat gain, showing that it's not just a matter of calorie balance, but a hormonal process. This means that if you're struggling to lose weight, obsessing over calories and intense workouts might not be the most effective strategy. The key is to focus on metabolic strategies that bring insulin levels down, which is when real and lasting progress can be made. If you still think that calories are the only factor in weight gain, humans themselves provide the most convincing evidence to the contrary. One of the more tragic eating disorders that affects young people with type 1 diabetes is a condition known as diabulimia. This is a heartbreaking scenario where individuals deliberately underdose their insulin to lose weight. For someone with type 1 diabetes, insulin is essential for survival, but these individuals have learned that this small dose of insulin is the absolute gatekeeper of the fat cell. By intentionally taking a lower dose of insulin, they can eat as much as they want and still remain incredibly thin. Now, the metabolic consequences of this are devastating. They face metabolic hell, including hypoglycemia and even ketoacidosis, which can be fatal. They are literally dying, but they will be as thin as they want. This extreme human case study proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that you cannot get fat unless insulin is elevated. This critical evidence refutes the simplistic calories-in, calories-out model that has dominated weight loss discussions for decades. It demonstrates that the cause of obesity isn't simply a lack of willpower or a behavioral failing. It's largely a hormonal issue. While people may argue that it's just calories, the diabulimia case study provides an undeniable human example that proves otherwise. It shows that insulin plays a powerful role in how fat cells store energy and how the body triggers weight gain. This is a powerful shift in perspective and the foundation of Dr. Ben Bickman's approach. When we stop obsessing over every calorie and start focusing on our hormonal health, we can finally achieve lasting results. The real key to weight loss is not about deprivation, but about understanding and working with your body's natural hormonal signals. By targeting insulin, we can unlock our body's fat-burning potential and start to see real and sustainable change. While many weight loss programs emphasize fasting, Dr. Ben Bickman notes that it isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Fasting can be challenging, requiring meticulous planning and immense discipline. As a simpler and more sustainable alternative, he recommends what he calls the insulin trick, a set of eating habits designed to naturally keep insulin levels in check. The first step involves understanding a little-known phenomenon called the Dawn Effect. This is a natural cortisol-driven process that elevates your insulin levels first thing in the morning, making it a high-risk time for fat storage. Around 4 a.m., a few hours before you wake up, your cortisol levels begin to climb. This is a natural and essential part of your body's circadian rhythm, preparing you to wake up and start the day. As cortisol rises, it signals your liver to break down its stored glycogen and release it as glucose into the bloodstream. This provides a burst of energy for your brain and nervous system, which are coming back online. 
However, this morning surge in glucose also requires an increase in insulin to manage it. This is why many people experience a temporary state of insulin resistance upon waking. What this means for you is that any food you eat in the first couple of hours after you wake up is more likely to be stored as fat rather than burned for energy. This is a major reason why even people who practice intermittent fasting by skipping dinner often see minimal results. By eating breakfast first thing in the morning, especially one that is sugary or carb-heavy, you are compounding the effects of the dawn phenomenon and sending your insulin levels soaring. The solution is simple wait it out. Don't rush to the kitchen the moment you wake up. Your body already has a natural burst of energy thanks to the morning cortisol and glucose surge. Use this energy to your advantage. Go for a walk, plan your day, or tackle some light tasks. While managing your morning eating habits is key, Dr. Bickman explains that cortisol levels are also closely linked to your circadian rhythm and stress. When you don't get enough sleep, your body interprets it as stress, causing your morning cortisol levels to soar, sometimes two or three times higher than normal. This spike in cortisol also drives your insulin levels up, making it much harder to control cravings and manage your appetite. Cortisol's metabolic effects directly influence the brain, and it particularly increases cravings for carbohydrates. Cortisol crosses the blood-brain barrier and binds to glucocorticoid receptors in the hypothalamus and the amygdala, two regions deeply involved in hunger and reward. In the hypothalamus, cortisol upregulates proteins like neuropeptide Y, or NYP, and agouti-related protein, or AGRP, which are known to stimulate appetite. At the same time, it can inhibit leptin signaling, which is your body's satiety hormone, making it harder to feel full. In the amygdala, cortisol enhances dopamine release, increasing your desire for highly palatable, energy-dense foods, the sugary, starchy treats we all crave. This explains why you might feel hungrier and reach for sugary foods more often when you're sleep-deprived. It's not a lack of willpower, it's a hormonal response. Beyond carbs, it's also crucial to avoid anything at breakfast that could spike insulin, including coffee. Dr. Bickman points to a study published about 20 years ago that documented how caffeine can raise insulin levels, especially when paired with carbs. When you eat carbs, your blood sugar climbs, and insulin must rise to clear that glucose. The study showed that when a carbohydrate load is coupled with a high amount of caffeine, insulin has to work much harder to clear the glucose. This is why Dr. Bickman himself avoids coffee first thing in the morning. Waiting helps to keep your hormones balanced and protects your metabolism from an early disruption, setting the stage for a much more productive, fat-burning day. At its core, Dr. Bickman's insulin trick is about understanding how your hormones behave and working with them, not against them. The morning is the perfect time to start because insulin patterns become less predictable later in the day. The simple strategy? Change breakfast tomorrow. Overnight fasting is incredibly therapeutic. During a fasted state, insulin levels come down, which helps to resensitize your body to insulin. So when you finally wake up, having just completed an overnight fast, the last thing you want to do is spike your insulin with a starchy, sugary breakfast. Tragically, modern breakfast often resembles a dessert laden with pure sugar and starch. Instead, your first meal should be a mindful ritual that works with your body's hormonal state. Wait a couple of hours after waking up and then make your first meal a balanced one that won't send your insulin soaring. This simple approach helps reset your metabolism and sets a healthy tone for the rest of the day. A well-timed, balanced breakfast kickstarts fat burning and signals your body to use energy rather than store it. This isn't an overnight fix, but it's a powerful first step. It puts your body in a state where losing weight becomes easier and more sustainable without extreme effort. This simple insulin trick can completely change your relationship with food and your body, putting you back in control. If you're struggling to lose weight and want to learn more about how to reset your hormones and unlock natural weight loss, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.